playing with us, and we're talking about when God winks, also you unstuck. And um, how does he now? How does he tell us what? Or does he well, tell us what? Yes, to look he actually for? does. He makes very strong suggestions. Um, one, I like the book because he is a business person, and for me in business today. Noticing, having people have tools where they can continually reinvent themselves and see the next set of opportunities is very important. So he has 10 success tips, and his tips very much align with things we've talked about in the past. Getting rid of words like can't and won't out of your, he, okay, his tip is get right. rid of the contractions. Right. Doing things, he uses the word impossible, and he says, "Get rid of the get the imp out of impossible," and that becomes um, possible. Yeah. And making a list—that is one of the things that goes through all the various science exercises that we do. Why? Because when we're under stress, our frontal lobe closes down, and when that happens, we honestly can't remember the last time we were supported, the last place we went to get help. Your brain just isn't working that well at that time. If you have these things written down, you can actually go to them and have a remembrance of all the times that things were connected. So those three, and then of course he says get a coach. Now, a few months ago we spoke mm -hmm. about that website, happier.com, yes, yes. and you know that yes. I am a real proponent of inexpensive, low investment mm -hmm. ways, especially now. Happier.com is a self-coaching site you know, where mm -hmm. you can go and do the exercises and start getting yourself moving. When, That's when you like say, the when you say, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead, Lou. Uh, when you say coach, yes. define coach for me. Okay, uh, it is not a vernacular, there's not a word that I use for myself. I view myself as a consultant to executives, mm -hmm. but in life and in all things that we want to excel out. Generally, if you're a writer, you get a writing coach. If you are an athlete, you get a coach. Well, in psychology, there are now many, many well-trained, many of them are clinical psychologists, many of them are people who have just gone mm -hmm. through programs. Someone who you can actually work with and talk with. And online, there are many resources that you can get that even if you don't buy into mm -hmm. a program, you can still get a lot of Could it resources. be a dear friend? Could a dear friend be a coach? Um, I, uh, yes, and that is not what I would suggest. Okay. Coaches in their training don't have an agenda. The agenda is only your success. Mm -hmm. When I'm tied to you at the heart level in friendship, there may be things I should push you to, but I may not be willing to say that because I really want to keep you as my friend. A coach is disassociated as such, if Correct. you can use that word. It, it, it's really a person who can objectively apply a set way to help move you through. Like, if you're not doing, if you're not writing down, you may give the person the exercise of writing it down. Well, a coach could say, you know what? We don't need to go any further because you're unwilling to take this step. Whereas mm -hmm. if I'm a friend, I'm gonna say, oh, okay. Yeah, bye, yeah, bye. yeah. Let's let's move on from there. <laughs> you know, speaking of the words, it's like uh, it's like the words woulda, shoulda, coulda. Oh yes. I mean, they just engulf us many times. <laughs> Correct. And when you listen to, uh, I was in uh, a meeting and someone was introducing themselves, and someone was began their introduction by saying, I really need to start making more money. I've spent all this money developing this website. I need, I need, I need, and. I was sitting in the back of the room and I said, I would like to suggest that you take the word need out of your conversation because the universe doesn't care what you need, it's going to give you what you want. So if you put out there what you are actually working towards, mm -hmm. I'm working towards attracting people to my website so that I can do the good, good work and then the income comes from that. So watching our language and every turn determines whether or not, one of the fun ones that I catch in my own language is the difference between spend and invest. Even when we're talking about our children, if you say, I'm gonna go spend time with my children, mm -hmm. you know, we don't really have a favorable, as much as we like to spend money, we don't have a favorable <laughs> association. No, that's interesting. Yes, yeah. but, but if you say, I'm gonna go invest yeah. some time with my friends, I'm going to invest in, well, even when you're making a purchase. It's the connotation yeah. on there. Exactly. No, language is yes. critical. Yes. Uh, I, I, I wholeheartedly agree with you. Yes. Because then it does plant 
it plants the seeds up here. Right. And then it's action. Then this becomes action. Yeah. And that's why the word coach, although I am not sports oriented, so I never took to it in my practice, what I do appreciate is that coaches are people who are trained in a particular area to get you to your next higher level of performance. Mm -hmm. And that's yes. an important thing. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, just a little uh, snapshot, if you can, the okay. unstuck. Uh, I'm thinking, I, I perused this one a bit, also you laid it here, yeah. but I, I'm thinking that when God winks, yes. many times he's telling you to get unstuck. Correct. And then we have you yes. unstuck. And we'll do. They're we, hand in hand. Absolutely. And that's why I want I to really focus on you unstuck next month. It's new. It will be harder for people to get this month. We need a few more weeks for it to actually get into the various tributaries of distribution. Mm -hmm. And we are now, you know, we've been into this malaise that we've been in for mm -hmm. almost a year now, mm -hmm. if not longer, for many people, particularly in this housing market. The concept of what do I have to do to get myself unstuck from where I am. I, First step is start noticing, you know, if you spent the next mm -hmm. 30 days noticing winks, mm -hmm. and then we enter into the mm -hmm. conversation, okay, from a wink, what's the action? You know what, uh, that, that sparks me with something because we just had a friend that just up and left, uh, decided that it wasn't right for him and he moved, he moved on. Sometimes in life, doesn't it help to see somebody else that you're close to do something that you actually wanted to do and once they do it, it spurs you on to do it? Does that make That's sense? That's an interesting concept. I wonder. Um, I, I don't want to say yes to that only because I'm I'm not completely. They they did they took an action that got them unstuck, mm -hmm. and absolutely who we spend our time with, how the people around us are behaving mm -hmm. when things are either good or bad are our models for how we will want to emulate because mm -hmm. we don't like to show people up in yeah. a given area, yeah. so that's why it's so important but to be around that, people who inspire you. Wouldn't that help to kickstart you. you on something that you would want to do anyway? Yes, watch who you're hanging out with yeah. for sure. <laughs> Uh, next month, it's You Unstuck. Correct. Libby Gill is Libby the Gill. author, and Andrea Gigline will be uh, giving Thank us you. the overview of that. Thank you. Have Thank a you. safe trip back to Las Vegas. I will, I will. I'll be listening to another book. <laughs> <laughs> Tailgate and Bash coming up next. West Yavapai Guidance Clinic. You stay right there.